What's up, Wolf Gang? Y'all already know what time it is, baby. Yes, sir. We're back again. First and foremost, giving our praise to our Most High, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our Father God, the King of all kings, the rule of all nations, baby. Let's go. And you know what today is. Mac bang, Mac bang, mook bang, bang, whatever the fuck is called. Lego. You know they put the fries in this big ass bag. Got my fries here. I got a double cheese burger. You know what I'm saying? Damn. They put a lot of cheese in this motherfucker too. Look at that shit. Y'all see that shit? This motherfucker's went oh D on the cheese though. I mean, I fuck with cheese, but damn. What the fuck? They tripping. So we're gonna go ahead. Damn, okay. I already said my grace earlier, so you already know how I do. But uh let's get into it. Mmm. I'm gonna be fine. That's your own little touch. This is marvelous. What is it? I went to jail for beating the shit out of this racist punk who called me the N-word. So that's what y'all want. Y'all want that story? Let's go. So one day me and my OG got into it. If y'all don't know what OG is, you know, wherever y'all from, OG means mama. So, me and my OG got into a little, little argument, you know what I'm saying? We was going back and forth. You know, uh, it wasn't even really an argument. It was more like a disagreement. And, uh, I got so mad to the point where I felt like fighting. So I told him, I'm about to go outside, and the first guy I see that look at me wrong, the first guy, and the first guy that looks at me wrong, and gives me any type of bad energy, I'm beating the brakes off his ass. I told her that. My mama replied with, "No, you ain't. You gonna sit your ass down. You gonna." Stay in the house, you're not leaving this house. I said, yeah, I am. She said, no, you're not. I said, okay. So <sighs> I went in the living room. I sat on the couch, just cooling, and was waiting for her to leave because she was getting ready to go. So I'm like, you know, I, I was kind of like uh, Chris Tucker on Friday. While she here, I'll be quiet. But when she leave, I'm going to leave again. <laughs> Soon as she left, walked out the door. I walked out the door about, it's about five minutes after her, cause I knew she had pulled off, she was gone. So I'm walking up the block and I'm marching up the block. And when I tell you the first cat I seen that gave me negative energy, I was about to fuck him up off top. Cause whatever, I can't even remember what it was, but whatever we was arguing about, I was gonna take all my frustration and put it on his ass with it. So I'm walking up the block, walking up the block. And it was weird because this night, it was like nobody outside. I'll have no fucking clue why. It was like no fucking body outside. So with nobody being outside, I'm like, it wasn't a holiday. It wasn't any type of special occasion. Just this weird ass night, nobody was outside. So I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. I end up getting to this block. And in Chicago, it's this um, Mexican food spot called Eno's. You know, um, over there by where I used to live at. That was my favorite Mexican spot. So, you know, they got the banging burritos. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. You know you look good to me. Mm. All of that look good. Tacos, you know, all kind of Mexican food. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to slide to Eno's, grab me something to eat, and try to calm myself down before I do something stupid. So I get to Eno's, I order my food, and, um, I'm sitting at the table, eat my food. Something like this. And uh, while I'm eating my food, I look up, two of my homeboys walk in. So I'm chopping it up with them like, what up nigga, woo woo. We chopping it up. 
And uh, now my whole mood is being altered. You know, my, my, my mood is coming down. I'm feeling I'm not mad no more. You know, I'm starting to feel like myself again. We laughing and joking and shit. So we leave the restaurant. And anybody that I know what well, he knows that is on the street called Roosevelt. And we left Eno's and we was walking up the block on Roosevelt. And it was right before we got to Harlem. So we right there at Roosevelt and Harlem. And it was these two biker white dudes that was walking towards us. And I'm with two of my homies. And it was two white dudes. And the big white dude, he had, you know, the big ass beard and shit, the vest. You know, looking all intimidating to what, for what most people would feel. And one shit about them intimidating to me. I don't give a fuck who it is. You can catch it. But, and then there was a the little dude. He was with like a smaller white guy. But they both had on like the, the biker shit. You feel me? So, I guess he just came from the bar or whatever. They're part of some little biker club or whatever. So, as we walking past them, you know, they glance at us and we glance at them. But, the white, the the, the 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 small white dude, he was like chill, but the big white dude, he had like this angry ass mean mug on his face, like he was mad at the fucking world. So, you know, as we walking past, you know, by this time, like I said, I'm not even pissed off anymore. You feel what I'm saying? But as we walking, you know, you just look around, you glance at somebody, and then you looking around, whatever, and then you glance at a person again, and that person still looking at you with that. With that mug, that's what this was. So it wasn't like I was trying to mean mug him. I was trying to mind my business, but he was trying to mean mug me because when I looked back that when I looked at him, looked away and looked back, he was still looking at me. And not only looking at me, but he had this angry mug on his face as, as if I did something to him or something. So as we walking past him, when I looked back the second time and seen him, now we just lock eyes, right? Now we mean mug him. So then I, as they walk past us a little bit, I turn around and I say, the fuck you looking at, nigga? He responded, what the fuck you looking at, nigga? Oh! oh okay. Oh, so you, so you big dog. So I say, what the fuck you just say, nigga? I say, nah, you didn't do that, did you? Why you had to go and do that, man? Ah. Oh, you wanna talk about so I say, so I say, you know you better get your ass beat, right? I'm just trying to make sure that you're aware. You're aware of that. You're about to get fucked up. That's what's about to happen. You've already ordered it. It's on its way. Okay? Period. That's happening. <laughs> Period. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So I start coming up on my coat take my coat off because it was winter time you feel me so it was it was it was cold whatever so i come up out my coat as i take my coat off he's still standing there now his little homie was like pulling on him, like come on let's just go let's just go i say no nah, uh-uh you could go but he's not going anywhere not until you get this ass whooping i'm about to beat his ass period big facts so as he's pulling on his homie to leave, his homie's standing there like he hard. He's standing there like, nah, like, what's up? So I come up out the coat. I pull my pants up. Y'all know how we do. Pull the pants up and shit. So I pull my pants up one time like, yo, okay. Boom! Bombed on him. I mean, I hit this motherfucker hard. He was a big-ass nigga. He was way bigger than me. Taller than me. Way more than me. But when I cracked him, I hit this motherfucker so hard, he stumbled back and he started yelling, okay, 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 and he trying to run. Mm -mm. I grabbed the back of that motherfucker's shirt and got the bang in this shit. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Just rocking this shit. Today I got time, cuz. Okay, 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 okay. That's all you heard. I'm fucking this dude up. I'm boom. Boom! Drilling this shit. I mean, I'm knocking the fucking nose off this motherfucker. As I'm hitting him, this guy is in such a panic. Anybody from Chicago know. Roosevelt is one of the busiest streets. This motherfucker is trying to run across Roosevelt 
while traffic is just flying by. But I guess I'm just as damn crazy because I was holding on to him and I'm fucking him up. I'm rocking his ass and cars are coming and I'm wait, if it hit him, it's going to hit me. I mean, I was letting his ass have it. So we get to across the street, bang him. Now we stand in front of McDonald's and I back up off. I say, get yourself together. I'm about to beat your ass again. This motherfucker say, okay, I don't want no problems. Okay, you got it. No, 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 no. You didn't hear what I just said. Get yourself together. I'm finna beat your ass again. So after I say that, he stands up. Because he was bending, bending over. He stands up. And I say, there you go. Now put your motherfucking hands up. Let's get it on. Put your hands up. What do you do that for? The man put his deuce up. As soon as he put his deuce up, I say, put your motherfucking hands up, nigga. Bop, 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 bop. We're in shoe, so he will not be able oh. to strike with the feet. Oh, he does with the hands up. They turn Belfort. I get to beating his ass like a drum. I'm fucking this dude up. You ever feel me? Swelling this shit. His shit is swelling like a motherfucker. So he starts running again. He starts running again. Now we at McDonald's. He runs to, to the McDonald's drive through And he runs up on a guy's car. And he said, hey, help. Help. Can you help? Help. He's leaning on the guy's car. Hitting the car. Asking the guy to help him. I'm still beating his ass. So the guy in the car, he, he says, because his window was down. He says, Get the fuck off my car. Get the fuck off my car. I ain't got shit to do with that. Get your ass off my car. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, what a homie. What a little dude that was with you in case you want to run up. So I back up off him, try to let him get himself together again. I look around for his homie. You can see up the block, his homie took off running. Gone. And all you see was elbows and the asshole. That's all you seen. This motherfucker was here with it. He was running like he was running in the motherfucking Olympics. I'm telling you, his homeboy could have won the gold medal that night because his ass was out of there. So now I'm back focused on him. Get yourself together. I'm about to beat your ass again. My nigga. <laughs> this dude is like, okay, all right. I apologize. You got it. All right. I just want to go home. You better get another ass one. I'm about to beat your ass again. I get to beat his ass again. Flood him. Bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. The fucking dude up. He started running. So now we're in front of the gas station. I'm beating him. I'm, I'm knocking his ass. Boom. I'm rocking him. So I rocked him to the left. Boom. Then I rocked him to the right. Boom. Then I rocked him back to the left. Then his ass was uppercut. Boom! Dude ass like this. When he hit the ground, in my mind, I was telling myself when he hit the ground, just let him be. He beat his ass three times in one night. He got his ass beat three times in a row by the same nigga. He's had enough. I think he's learned this lesson not to say it anymore. But, Nah, I got to beat his ass again. So I got the mow, 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 crushing his ass. A truck pulls up. We at, we at the gas station now. A truck pulls up. The door is open. I'm so busy stomping this nigga out. I couldn't even really see who was getting out the car, but two doors open. But I knew they had to be coming over there for us because whoever it was, they came pretty close. I'm still fucking dude up. A black lady, a black lady, she comes from around the passenger side and she runs up. She said, young man, young man, hold on, young man. What are you doing, young man? Stop, stop. Her husband comes around the driver's side. Yeah, hey, hold on, hold off, hold off, hold off. And their son, like he was like a teenager, he gets out the back. But this is a black family. So they all like, hey, hold on, hold on. What's going on here? I said, he called me a nigga. No cap. The old black lady say, Oh, well, he shouldn't have said that then. I'm sorry, darling. Let's go. They all get back in the car, leave. I get to beating his ass again. This time, though, 
it's time to finish him. I hit him a few more times, boom. He balled up. This dude is fucked. I mean, I beat the dog shit out of that dude. So now, I'm realizing I just been beating his ass for a while. So I'm pretty sure the cops are coming because this is a very busy intersection. Anybody from Chicago, especially from the west side, you know about Roosevelt and Harlem. That is one of the busiest intersections in this damn state. You feel me? So uh, I know the police coming. I know they on their way. So I turn around and I go back across the street and I get my coat. And as I'm putting my coat back on, I look up. And one of the homies then ran across the street. As the guy's getting up, the homie hit his ass uppercut. Bing! Dropped him. Now the homie get to beat his ass. Now it was three of us. Only two of us beat his ass. I gave him a one-on-one -on -one three times and fucked him up all three times. When I went back over to get my coat, I grabbed my coat and the homies just watched. When I grabbed my coat, then one of the homies stopped beating his ass. So when the homie get over there, he beating his ass. So I'm like, fuck it, we back on him. So I run back across the street, and we both get to be in his ass. That's just me and my partner. My third homie, the other homie who was with us, did not lay a finger on dude. He had just got out on bond. He just got out on bond, so he wasn't trying to get in no troubles. He just watched. He didn't do shit. We fucking dude up some more. All of a sudden... A car jumps the curb, speeds up, jumps the curb, and almost hit my fucking knee. They, like, slammed on the brace to not hit my knee. I look up. It's the boys. 5-0. Police. I turn around. I instantly start running. We end up running behind the bank and then we went up this alley and we decided we all got to split up. So the other two homies went separate ways and uh, I was behind, we was in the alley. So, you know, I was uh, by somebody's garage, behind somebody's house. So something tells me it's dark out here. Just, I had a hat and my hat was to the back. Something told me just put the hat on forward and like walk through the gangway, through the back of these people's house into the front and then just walk up the block. It's nighttime. Ain't nothing going on on this block. They probably ain't going to catch me if I'm walking up this block. So I go through the little gangway. Boom. I take my hat. Take it, take it from backwards. Put it on forwards. As I'm walking through the gangway, by the time I get to the front of the house, I'm about to walk up the street. Walk up the sidewalk. By the time I get to the front of the house, it was a black car that pulls up, slams on the brakes. <laughs> I look up. It's the boys. Motherfucker hop out with the hammer like, freeze, get the fuck on the ground, get on the ground. I'm like, damn, it was an unmarked car. It was a fucking black Mustang. It wasn't even a police car. But I'm like, shit, it's nighttime out here. He got the hammer out. I ain't playing with these motherfuckers. So I put my hands up. More police come, swarm up the block. Boom, boom, boom. He come, he get me. He put me in handcuffs. When the cop put me in handcuffs, now, they told me to get it, get on the ground. So I got on the ground. The cop came. He put me in handcuffs. While I'm in handcuffs, the cops start kicking my ribs. Kicking me in the ribs. What the fuck were you running for? What the fuck were you running for? And the only reason he stopped was because the house where we was at, in between, the gangway that I was coming through, the lady who owned the house came outside. She ran down the steps. And as they're kicking me in the ribs while I'm in handcuffs, she says to them, wait, stop, stop, stop. Is that my nephew? Is that my nephew? So I'm on the ground. And I look up at I'm like, I'm your nephew today. <laughs> and she like, no, nah, that ain't my nephew. Yo, this ain't your baby. This ain't your baby. Ain't that some shit? And goes back in the fucking house. So the cops, they pick me up. Long story short, put me in the car. We go back to the gas station where everything was what happened and everybody did. Go back to the gas station. The other cops, they done found the other two homies, brought them back. And the guy that, you know, uh, got beat up, he was sitting on the curb. His shit was fucked. His shit was fucked. We beat the fuck out dude. I fucked dude up. I fucked dude up bad. You feel me? 
But uh, he's telling the police, look at my face. Look at what the fuck he did to my face. So the cop come to me, he's like, you know, well, what the fuck happened? I'm like, yo, I'm just minding my own business. We, you know, cross paths. He called me a nigga. I beat his ass. That was that. I just fucked him up. That's it. He just caught these hands. I used no weapon, none but these fists, and I fucked him up with him. The cop was like, well, you did do that. But uh, so what's happening now is he wants to, he's going to charge you. He said he's charging you with battery, assault and battery. I said, okay, I expected that. They loaded me and the homies in the paddy wagon, took us to jail. I was in jail for about a week on that charge. Um, you know what I mean? Had to do a whole lot of calling and to try to get bailed out. But you don't know that because you're a big Barry White looking motherfucker. Now get off my back, all right? I wish my bitches hurry up and get here. I ain't got no time to be sitting inside this cell with you. All that type of good shit, but about a week later, got out, uh, got bailed out of jail. And yeah, man, so that's the story on that. You know, so so all you people out there, be cut, be 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 knowledgeable of that when you approaching somebody or when you dealing with people, regardless what race they is, because every race has a word that's offensive and disrespectful. Be very careful what you call people, because you may call somebody something and, and they'll slap the motherfucking eyebrows off your ass. So you got to be cautious and focused on that. That at the end of the day, are you ready? Are you ready and willing to get your ass beat today? Because there's a good chance you're gonna get your ass beat if you disrespect people like that. Walking up, calling them disrespectful shit that you know damn well, and you know that you know you shouldn't be calling them at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? We all got a word, so you know what I mean. That's but that's my story on that, man. If y'all like this video, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to my burger. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I didn't got caught up in the story. I forgot I was even eating. That's the story on that. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. If you're new, if you're already part of the Wolf Gang. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I fucks with y'all that long, strong way. You understand? And until next time, you see what it is, baby. Wolf gang.